Hi, my name is Rich. And did you realize there's over 2 billion people that get on the internet? And at any one time, about a third of those can get on there and go to Facebook or Tweet or YouTube, search something on the internet. They can post things like, hey, we're going on vacation. We're going to go see we're going to go see Mickey Mouse or something like that. All in all, we're putting information about our health, our loved ones, a lot of information on the internet. And the bad thing is, people are watching. Please stay tuned. Our financial history our health, and a lot more out there. Also, did you realize that on Facebook, I have actually put pictures on there, and before I typed anything, the person's name was on the picture. Facebook has facial recognition. It's amazing what the Internet is doing and about opening up our privacy. For example, on, on Facebook, I found, I looked up to a friend, I found out that that person lives in a certain city, the name of their spouse, boyfriend or girlfriend, if they had kids, the name of their kids, birthplace, their birth dates, what interest or organization they are working in and what they like, their schooling, the trips they have taken or are about to take. There's a new item on the internet called behavioral tracking. Behavioral tracking is a multi-million dollar business. I didn't realize until I was looking at maybe cell phone plans. For example, I was looking at this site. And after that, I decided to go look at a word for today. And lo and behold, there are three advertisements on that one page by that cell phone company that I was looking at. It's sort of interesting. How much time do we spend? Basically, how much time is more important than my grandkids spend or your kids or someone's kids? And it just shows, according to the United States Welfare Institute of the Kaiser Family Foundation, 7 hours and 38 minutes. But because they are multitasking, there are over 10 hours of tweeting and texting and looking up stuff on the Internet. And what companies might be interested in our kids and our grandkids? It's a scary thought. On my studies about the privacy, I found out that there's a, a app that you can use on Mozilla Firefox called Lightbeam. Shine a light on who's watching you. Now, this is a real interesting program. How it works is it just sort of shows you the little round circle. It's places you've gone to, but yet look at the triangle. Goodness gracious. The triangles are people that are really tracking you. It's a scary spot. And then you can look at other areas that are tracking you. And before too long, well, I'll just show you an example. My day opens, I open up my Google, and then I type in Facebook, and look at the little triangles around Facebook, the people that are tracking me already. And from Facebook to YouTube, I look at some sites on YouTube, and there's more tracking. And then I just go on and I look at maybe news and different things. And more and more people are tracking me. It's a scary thing to know how many people just in a few minutes are tracking every place I go. You have to watch what you say. I mean, people say, well, I did this or I didn't do this on Facebook and tweet. And it's been going to court a lot of times. There was a guy that was driving and he was speeding and he wrecked and crashed into a bicyclist but on his tweet page he said I go fast even though even though I know I shouldn't I love the speed or something similar to that and the court went his had his sentence go from second degree, degree manslaughter to first degree watch what you say on the internet Remember, watch what you put on the internet. It stays on the web. Always be careful what you say. Do not put too much information about you or your loved ones. Remember, the whole world can see you. 
Companies are getting information about you everywhere you go. There's a new program out called Anonymux. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. It's another Mozilla app that you can get. And this is sort of neat because you're anonym anonymous. And so it's sort of hard to track you. This is sort of what it looks like. You can see that I would be, when it, when it pops up, it looks like I'm from UK and I'm in the United States. You can change your identity so it sort of confuses them. Up until this time I've been talking about Mozilla Firefox but Internet Explorer has tracking protection. All you have to do is hit tool, tracking protection and then on there it says get tracking pro uh, protection list online. Click that and you'll see a list of programs that you can use. Once you're online, you can see the various programs that Internet Explorer has programs for. And I always just look for the one that has the, more st the most stars. It seems like uh, if it has a lot of good ratings, I'll go with that. And so I'll download that to be part of my tracking pro program protection. When you hit Add, it is then on your Internet Explorer. So that's pretty handy. If you're using Google Chrome, it has an app called Do Not Track Me. And all you have to do is go to this website and you can download Do Not Track Me, an app that goes on Google Chrome browser. Another thing we have to be careful of is malware. Malware is short for malicious software and is used to disrupt computer operations, gather sensitive information, or gain access to private computer systems. You should search on maybe CNET or uh, other places that have reviews about malware protection. You have to have this on your computer in case people are trying to disrupt your computer through malware. Find a good adware remover. There are a lot of free malware and adware removers. Just make sure you have a good one. Make sure you find out the reviews of them. And a lot of them are free for download. Another thing I would suggest, go looking for you on the internet. Search your name or your name and home state, your name and your business to see what Google and Bing returns. It might be surprising what someone might have written that you don't know about and you better check into it. You can use a tool called Google Alerts. Put your st standing search on your name, your spouse's name, your child's name. Google will automatically email you when new results are found on the web. When someone writes maybe a web page that has your name on it, you always want to make sure that your children, your wife, your, your, or your spouse, that is, or yourself, is actually represented correctly on the internet. And I can't say how important it is. Be careful what you say, what you put on the web, because it stays on the web. Somewhere, someplace, it is on the web. Remember, you are being tracked. So whatever you do, be careful. And thanks for watching.